Hey, good afternoon everybody. Uh, today we're going to be going through another Facebook Live to explain other aspects about chiropractic. And today we're going to be going through the qualifications that it takes to become a chiropractor. Now there's something where I've been questioned this and asked by a number of people asking, you know, if we have qualifications and if so, what kind of qualifications? And part of the reason for this is because there is a difference in legal standing, of course, depending on which country you're in. But overall, for all chiropractors, there needs to be some formal education. So this is usually either a master's program or it's going to be a doctorate program. So you're going to be looking at a chiropractor training for usually at least four to five years, um, depending if they're, say, in the States and they have to do an undergraduate program. They may even be doing six years as well as that, including the undergraduate program, which they do. Uh, for the training for chiropractors, usually it will be that master's or it will be a doctorate. And that's where they're going to be going through intensive training, going really in depth into things like, say, neuroscience, really going into anatomy, going more into physiology, even to some extent learning about biomechanics and going through pharmacology. And even when I was at university, we had to learn about, you know, uh, and the development of the baby and everything else. So you, you really get very in depth in terms of what's actually going on, especially for the anatomy and the development of the body. So we can understand how things are working and how disease processes are working, as well as a lot of work, of course, going into conditions, diagnoses, and other things we can look out for. Now, of course, it doesn't mean that chiropractors saying that we will see all kinds of conditions that we're trying to necessarily help every patient with every condition, but like many other doctors, you have to make sure that you know a lot about different conditions so that you can be prepared if those kind of cases are coming into you. Now, of course, things are a little bit different, I'll be honest, here in Singapore. So myself, I'm from UK originally. I did my five years master's and trained as a doctor of chiropractic. But the way that it works here is a little bit different in the sense that if I was to practice, say, back in England and I didn't have a license or I wasn't trained or maybe even I wasn't registered with the regulatory board in the UK, it would be an offence. It would be completely legal and I would get in trouble. I know it's the same thing in most of parts of Europe, also in America, Australia, uh, New Zealand. It would all have the same kind of standing, <clears throat> as well as the same as it would in certain parts of Asia as well. I think it's in Hong Kong, possibly in Japan as well. The way it works here is, at least for people who are not from Singapore, is that we have to maintain a legal standing with a foreign body. So that would be a regulatory body from the country where we graduated from or where we're registered, whether that's again, say, back in Europe or America or Australia or anywhere else. Uh, and the other thing that does mean, though, is that if somebody is, say, Singaporean and they don't have to have that so they can get their work visa, technically, they may actually not have the training because there is no full regulation within Singapore. So like I said, myself, my colleagues and everybody who is, set, say, uh, Alliance of Chiropractic, the, uh, one of the boards here, we all do have training. We make sure that is something for all of our members. However, there are some people where they can claim to be a chiropractor and technically it's not breaking the law. So I would suggest that for anybody, especially if you are in Singapore, to always check if somebody does have the qualifications necessary, again, whether it's a master's, master's or a doctorate, so that you are seeing somebody who is a trained professional before you go for your case. As well as, of course, looking out for other things like have they got a, his a history and experience with problems like yourself? Do they usually see people like you as well as figuring out, you know, is the location right? Does cost fit what your budget is and, and everything else that comes with finding the right kind of person for yourself? If anybody has any questions about chiropractic, about qualifications or anything else at this point, feel free to drop them in the comments or you can give us a call at 8438-9550 or help at vitalitychiropracticcenters.com and we'll be able to reply to any emails you have there. Have a great day, everybody.